Alright, today's lesson is going to be over METARs. We're going to talk about what they are, where you find them, and how you read them. So METARs give the weather information in the vicinity of an airport stretching out five statute miles. They're updated every hour and they're what we use to find our pre-flight weather information. You find the METARs on the aviationweather.gov website, which here in a second we're going to head over to the computer and I'm going to pull up the website, I'm going to show you how to navigate through it, pull up a METAR for Hillsborough, and I'm going to then show you how to read it and explain what the different parts are. Along with this, I have a handout that has the different codes and abbreviations of the different types of weather that appear on a METAR. So let's head on over to the computer. All right, here we are at the computer. I'm gonna come up here to the address bar and type in aviationweather.gov. All right, here's the site. On the left side, you can see that it has many different tabs for you to go. And we're going to scroll down to the METAR tab. We're going to pull over to it says METAR request form. Click on that. And here is the METAR page. You have your choice of choosing METAR only or TAFs. But we're going to go with just the METAR in the raw or translated form. We're going to start off with the raw. I'm going to type in Hillsborough's identification code, KHIO, and submit. Here is the METAR for Hillsborough Aviation. You see here starting from the left, we have the airport identification code. Next, you have the date in the first two letters, numbers, and then is the Zulu time. 0353 Zulu. Then we move over to wind direction and speed. The first three numbers are the wind direction, which are in true degrees, not magnetic. The wind is next and is rounded to the nearest tenth, and in this case is calm winds. Then we have the statute miles, 10 statute miles, and this is the visibility. Next is the over cast at 8500 feet. This is the cloud cover and it is rounded up to nearest 100 so that is 8500 feet. Next is the temperature and dew point. Then we move on to the altimeter setting pressure of 3037. So I'm going to back this up and pull up the weather again for Hillsboro but the translated form this form helps out much greatly when learning how to read this in the beginning. Here at the top, it gives you the initial METAR, what it states, and then breaks it down into its components below. You have the airport identifier here, the time that it was observed, and the date. Next, you have the temperature, the dew point, the pressure and next comes the winds which in this case we've noticed they have changed as the METAR is updated the visibility is still 10 miles or more the ceiling has now dropped to 8,000 feet it is still an overclass layer so that what the handout that I told you about is here on the left we have a minus and a plus sign which are you add in front of the different identifiers here to depending if it's a light or heavy you have here under descriptors shallow partial patches and so on showers precipitation type obstruction type and then down below we have the types of cloud cover clear skies few scattered broken and overcast the numbers here represent the amount of cloud cover covering the sky. So for the few clouds, it's zero to a f eighth of the sky, or a fourth of the sky. 
The scattered clouds is 3 eighths to a half of the sky. Broken is 5 eighths to just under a full sky cloud cover and overcast being completely covered. Something that wasn't shown in that previous METAR and when it comes to the wind direction is you have your wind direction, you have your speed, and how this reads is wind direction 3005 15 knots gusting 25 and this next section that comes right after it if it's a case is the wind vary when the wind direction varies and in this case is varying from 280 to 320 all right so this has been a brief rundown on METARs what they are how you find them and how you read them so remember that you find them at www.aviation.gov and when it comes to reading them, the handout that I gave you comes in very handy when trying to figure out what the different types of weather are since the one we just looked at was fairly simple. So I hope you learned something new today and if you have any questions feel free to ask, otherwise have a nice day.